The playback menu on the Canon Rebel T4i 650D allows you to set up how images are displayed in playback, among other things. Let's take a look. The playback menu is broken into two sections, both with this play icon. They get highlighted in blue. Let's look at playback one. The first option is protect images. This allows you to protect one, some, or all of the images on your memory card from being deleted. You can choose select images to choose one or more images on the card. When you press set, you are taken to playback and you can press the set button on each image that you would like to protect. When protected, the key icon appears near the upper right of the image. You can also protect all images in folder. You can also unprotect all images in folder. You can protect all images on card or unprotect all images on card. Next is rotate image. When you press set here, you are taken to playback where you can rotate images by pressing the set button. Erase images is next where you can delete images from your memory card. You have select and erase images to choose select images to erase. You press the set button and the check mark appears in the upper left. Then you press the trash can button to actually erase the selected images. You also have all images in folder and all images on card. Next is print order. Here you can choose images to be printed. This only works with printers enabled with the digital print order format or DPOF. When you go to select image, you are taken to playback where you can use the up and down cross keys to choose the number of prints you would like of each image. Or you can choose by folder and mark all in a folder or clear all in a folder. You can also choose all images. In setup, you choose the print type, either standard or index, if you want the date or file number printed on the images. Photo book setup is for use with EOS utility to create a photo book. The setup for this is much the same as the DPOF print order we just went through, where you select certain images from your card or all images for use in the book. In creative filters, you can apply a filter to an image that you have on the memory card and save it as a new image. Pressing set, you are taken to playback. When you have the image you'd like to edit on screen, you choose it by pressing set. Then you choose the filter effect you'd like to use by pressing the right and left cross keys. You have grainy black and white, soft focus, fisheye effect, art bold effect, water painting effect, toy camera effect, and miniature effect. For each of these, you have fine tuning available when you press set. Pressing set again, you'll have the edited image as a JPEG on the memory card. The last one in this section is resize. Here you can resize your image to make it smaller and save the copy on the memory card. You have four options for downsizing, M, S1, S2, and S3. This option isn't available for images that are written as JPEG S3 or RAW. In the Playback 2 menu, the first option is Histogram Display. You can choose if you want a histogram showing brightness or a histogram showing the brightness of each primary color. The next option is Image Jump with the main dial. When you are using the cross keys to move between images and playback, you see each image in order. Here you can choose to have the main dial do something different when turned. It can jump 10 images, 100 images, it can jump to the next date or to the next folder, it can display movies only or stills only, or display by image rating. Slideshow allows you to configure a slideshow. The top item is the number of images to be included. Beneath that, you press set and then the up and down cross keys to choose what you want to be included. All images, a certain date, which you can choose by pressing the info button, by folder, movies only, stills only, or by a certain rating. Then you press set again. In setup, you decide how the slideshow will appear. How much time will be spent on each photo? Will the slide show repeat or stop after one showing? Should there be a transition effect in between the images? You have several options here. Or do you want background music, if you have any on the card? You can copy background music to your memory card in EOS Utility. Next is rating. When you press set, you are taken to playback and you can press the up and down cross keys to rate an image from one to five stars or leave it unrated. The last option in the playback menu is control over HDMI. This is for use when you have the camera connected to a TV with an HDMI cable that is compatible with HDMI CEC. This option allows you to control the camera's playback operations using the TV's remote control. And that's the playback menu! So now we have walkthroughs on the shooting menu and the playback menu, but we still have two more menus to go, the setup menu and my menu. Check back for them soon.